Hey guys, welcome to a new episode of the Game Feed. My name is Panso6, and we're talking about Gamescom. Uh, just a little bit, uh, because there's so far only been one press conference, and that was Microsoft. And also we're going to talk about Rare Replay and a couple other things. Um, but let's go ahead and get to it. Uh, Microsoft just wrapped up their event in um, Cologne, Germany, uh, Gamescom, and it was pretty good. Uh, there was several uh, awesome uh, exclusives they showed off. Uh, we got to see some more of Quantum Break, which I love Remedy, so anything they come out with is usually gold to me. So I love Alan Wake, and this looks fantastic to me in a sort of... I mean, I, I don't know until I get my hands on it if I'm going to like it as well as you know Max Payne or um, Alan Wake, but it does look really good. Um, the TV show aspect it seems like... They're going away from what they was planning before, like, I guess it before there was supposed to be a TV show that came out per week, then you can play the game, but I guess it's actually now interwoven within the game itself now. Uh, I think that's what the original plan was before, but little fingers in it, so that's cool. So, uh, yeah, that was good. Uh, see, Crackdown 3. I like Crackdown 3, not Crackdown 3, I never played Crack, Crackdown 3, but I like the other crack, Crackdown games, um, Crackdown 1 and 2. Uh, 2 was, is more of the same stuff, except they give you a little bit more abilities. Uh, you get put in the same, you know, map as before. It was a little bit late, it felt like an expansion, but the original Crackdown and Crackdown 2, I put several hours into those games, they're just fun to play, and... The destructibility in the new one, it's just insane. I guess everything's fully destructible. And um, I guess they're going to use the uh, cloud in, um, the cloud finally. You're going to see how that works. Uh, but that looked good. Uh, Scalebound by Platinum Games, that looked good as well. The big, You get to use your dragons in fights. It, is, it seems like it's more of an RPG than um, any other game they have done so far. Uh, the guy kind of looks like Dante from the uh, reboot of Dragon uh, Dragon Ball Z, uh, Devil May Cry that came on um, a couple years ago, but it, it looked pretty good. Um, let's see what else came? Showing off some more Halo, um, some more indie stuff. Uh, I got to see Ark. Um, that's a few big things. They showing off uh, Cobalt, which is Mojang's studio's new uh, multiplayer. Thing and at the end they closed it off with something I was completely surprised by was um, Halo Wars 2, which I like. I I actually love the first Halo Wars game, um, but which I like anything Halo, pretty much anything uh, except for the TV shows. I'm not too big on those; those weren't very good. But yeah, I guess Creative Assembly. I guess they're working with Sega uh, to make this come true, which is fucking awesome. Um, so that's coming. Um, but yeah, overall, it's, it's a decent showing. You know, they also shown the fact they're going to have a uh, Killer Instinct three, and they're going to have uh, one of the Battle Toads is going to be the character that comes in and uh, pl you guys can play with. Uh, you can check out some of the um, press conferences. I'm sure you can stream it, watch the stream or uh, post show um, anywhere on YouTube. Uh, IGN or something like that, but I just kind of want to tell you guys what I thought about it, just some of the cool games. The idea, Xbox, yeah, it, it was pretty good. It's a good showing. If I had to rate it, I'd probably give it a B. Um, I thought they really brought their A game on the uh, E3 this year, and I don't think anything can really top the backwards compatibility, which that's another thing I want to talk about. So, um, yesterday, um, they, it was yesterday the day before they announced, if you bought... Uh, Gears of War the Ultimate Edition you get uh, all the original Gears games for free which that's fantastic that means they don't have to remaster those games which um, as a preview member I'm already playing the original Gears of War right now so I got to play that and I'm playing uh, Shadow Complex which um, I, some of these games really don't need to have the remaster treatment but I mean that's a good deal if you haven't played the Gears of War series uh, highly recommend it. It's one of those dude bro shooters, but you know, it's something I'm into, <laughs> unfortunately. But no, it's it's good stuff. Um, but it's for forty dollars you get five games, so you get the um, ultimate edition of Gears as well as the original Gears games, 
all in one bundle. It's forty bucks, so that's that's worth the price of admission. I think it comes uh, all the DLC you bought before on the previous backwards compatible titles that will carry over, and I think Gears comes with uh, depending what uh, edition you get for that. They have a forty dollar and a sixty dollar edition of. Um, the remaster of uh, Gears Ultimate, which I, it should be kind of good, I guess. But um, yeah, check that out. Um, now something came out yesterday. Uh, well, actually, last night at midnight, um, which I've been really, really waiting for, and that's Rare Replay. So I started uh, downloading that last night. Actually, it's been pre-order for a while, but some of the games they started. Uh, downloading like um, some of the backwards compatibility <laughs> titles. See, I got my tongue tied. I always do that. But um, <laughs> but anyways, I, I got to play some games I've never played before in my life. It was. And I'm embarrassed to say this. This is the first time I've ever played Battletoads. So I played Battletoads, and they have a thing on there. Um, it's called Snapshot. And what you can do, it picks part of the games out, and you can play these missions that have, um, you know, you have to do certain things. Like, uh, if you want to do the infamous bike run, uh, <laughs> or the hoverboard thing, um, it, it's called, I think it's called Hoverboard Infinite. So, you just keep on going and going and try to get the, bet, the most time out of it you possibly can. And that game is rough. I have never played a game like that before. It was ridiculous. Um, I don't even know what to say. It, it just, I, I, you know, I'm, I played a bunch of games when I was younger, like uh, some of the old school games, and, you know, those were hard, but damn, that's a fucking hard game. Um, and I also tried out the arcade. Is I, they have both Battletoads games on here. They have Battle, Battletoads and Battletoads Arcade. Um, they don't have the Double Dragon meets... Is it Double Dragon or Final Fight? I think it's Double Dragon meets um, uh, Battletoads. They don't have that, but there's a ton of things on there. It's it's for 40 bucks. it's well worth the pat, uh, price of admission. You get 30 games, and, you know, <laughs> alone, if you was to buy Conker's Bad for a day, you're probably going to be spending $60 uh, for a Nintendo 64 copy of it. So you get that on here. Uh, you get all the Banjo games. You get Perfect Dark, both of those. You get um, Jet Force Gemini, v Viva Pinata 1, Trouble in Paradise. You know, pretty much a backlog of all of Rare's collections. And they also said, um, apparently, they may be adding more games. So hopefully they add uh, the remake. I think it was Live and Reloaded. I would love to see Conquer Live and Reloaded put onto this uh, collection. So... But yeah, I, I really really enjoy it. It's it's fantastic, fun, um, and there's you know it lets me experience uh, their backlog. I've never really got a chance to play a lot of Rare's games, so some of them I'd, I've played before and I didn't know Rare made them. <laughs> so yeah, that's pretty that's pretty cool. I, I definitely recommend it. And another thing uh, as well, um, I, I'm doing a little bit better. And in terms of health, um, sort of, not really. Um, one of the things I'm going to be doing, and I'll talk a little bit more of this on our on Thursday on Let's Talk, but uh, I've been taking some more medicine. Um, I just got diagnosed the other day for, with uh, a sleep apnea, moderate obstructive sleep apnea, as well as um, restless, RLS, I think, restless leg syndrome. Uh, whenever I did a sleep study, um, apparently the lady said, uh, the nurse or doctor or whatever, she's like, he was running a marathon in your sleep. Um, I move my legs a lot. I, I mean, I nonstop in my sleep. It's that and snoring and stuff like that. But um, I'm supposed to go this week or next week one for uh, another one of these tests with a CPAP. So I guess they're going to put that on me and uh, also go on the 26th to go see the weight loss surgeon. So looking into doing the sleeve. So but like I said, I'm going to talk to you guys more about that. I don't really want to bring too much into that, but I figure I'd give you guys a little tiny update. And um, also uh, still, still looking into um, 
doing some stuff for the streaming. I have not got to stream for a while, and it's totally my fault. Um, it just I've been sick, um, really busy with the YouTube channel as well as you know trying to find a job. But my schedule as it stood is um, Monday, Wednesday, and Thursday. I mean one day Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. I'm thinking about changing that to streaming Tuesdays, Thursdays only. Um, that way. I can dedicate my days, you know, my YouTube and um, Twitch streaming on the same days. So, um, and once I get back into groove of things, once I start getting feeling better and all that stuff, I think I'm going to start, you know, branching out a little bit more. Uh, I put out four videos last week. Um, put out, you know, we put had another, an episode of a Game Feed, episode of Let's Talk, uh, also. Uh, Super Smash Brothers tournament for the Goblin Trader, as well as uh, this thing we played, which was fantastic. It was called um, Actual Cannibal Shia Buff, and you guys should check that that video out. It was fun. It was a blast to play. You can see it's just it, it, it's it's just ridiculous. Um, uh, <laughs> but I, you can just see I just kind of recorded it. Uh, I was testing off my new phone. Um, got this little baby. So this thing can shoot in 4K too, and so I'm excited about that. So I'm gonna start shooting a lot with that because my camcorder I have it only shoots in 720p. So I'm gonna start shooting with that. Um, that's the Note Edge. So I'm gonna be shooting with that a lot. Um, it's it's pretty nice. I think you only shoot like five minutes in 4K though. So I don't know. It's worth trying out. So I could probably just shoot like five minutes of it. And, you know, upload it and shoot five more minutes and just edit and edit and edit. But yeah, it's, it's going to be pretty cool. Um, but guys, thanks for stopping by. Um, sorry for my inability to talk. I, I keep on slurring my words. Uh, this new medicine I, I'm on, it's, um, it's this anti-depression medicine. It makes me kind of loopy. Kind of makes me slur my words. So I'm still getting used to it. Uh, I just started that last week, so, um, but yeah, <laughs> I, I might have to talk to the doctor about that, I don't know, it, it, it's probably, they said the side effect, that's one of the side effects that kind of makes you a little off, but um, thanks for stopping by, uh, checking out this new episode of the Game Feed, uh, hope you guys enjoyed, be sure to hit the like and subscribe button, and again, I uh, love you guys, and thanks for giving me all the support. You guys have been giving me some awesome support lately. Uh, Send nothing but great things. And hopefully we can make this uh, channel a whole lot better for us. Um, we can do a whole lot of things for us. So <laughs> I'll see you guys Thursday with Let's Talk, and hopefully tonight I'll do some streaming. Might do some rare replay stuff, but I hope you guys have a great day, and take it easy.